My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a cardiologist. Now, a lot of modern day medicine and the way we practice it is devoid of common sense. I'm going to give you an example of um, this. And this is in fact a true story. A patient recently contacted me to talk about this. So this guy who contacted me is 42 years old. He had recently lost a friend in a car accident and after that was obviously very distressed, had a lot of stress going on, measured his blood pressure, found it to be elevated on his home monitoring blood pressure machine. He then measured it again two days later, found it to be elevated 150 over 90. As he had a family history of high blood pressure, he went to his GP and his GP measured the blood pressure and found it to be 150 over 90. And he said, do you have a family history? The patient said, yes. Do you have a family history of heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure? The patient said, no, my parents are both 80 something and they're otherwise well. In any case, the GP says, well, your blood pressure at 150 over 90 is too high. Let's start you on some medication. So he starts this patient on Lusartan, which is a particular type of antihypertensive Lusartan 50 milligrams daily. Two weeks later, the patient goes back to the doctor. The doctor measures the blood pressure again. Now it is 160 over 90. So it's higher than it was when he last met. So the doctor says, gosh, this is too high. You know, we're not controlling this. We need to double the Lusartan. So he was on 50 and the Lusartan was doubled to 100. Now, this is a very common scenario where you go, you get your blood pressure measured, it's high, you go back, your blood pressure is even higher, and therefore the medication is doubled. Now, the problem is that is completely the wrong thing to do, if you think about it. Because if your blood pressures, something has to be incorrect, either the measurements are wrong, because if your blood pressure is truly 150 over 90, and you give that patient a medication which is designed to lower the blood pressure, and the blood pressure that you measure after they've been on the medications is actually higher, then there are only two possibilities. Either the way you're measuring the blood pressure is inaccurate, i.e. the measurements are not reliable, or the blood pressure medication is actually causing the blood pressure to go up. Either way, there is simply no rationale for increasing the blood pressure medications. You can't double a medication that could be causing the blood pressure to go up. And if your reading is inaccurate or is unreliable, then you cannot go on the previous reading either. And that is why I would always recommend that before people start medication, it is important to get accurate readings. And the way you get these accurate readings is by doing ambulatory blood pressure monitoring, 24-hour blood pressure monitoring. This gives you an average. Otherwise, your blood pressure fluctuates all day long. And the problem with this is that you end up getting over-medicated because actually, maybe the blood pressure medications are not needed for your blood pressure, but the more you double them, the greater the risk of side effects. So if you're ever faced with this scenario, it's very important that you challenge your doctor and say, well, if my blood pressure has gone up when you've tried to lower it, then either what you're doing is pushing my blood pressure up or your measurements are inaccurate. And therefore, I would prefer more accurate measurements before you decide on how I go about uh, managing this for the rest of my life. So I hope this was useful. Uh, I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.